In this example, I'm going to show you how to use Sigma Excel's Easy Pivot tool. This example is taken from the Sigma Excel workbook. Now, for this example, we are using the customer data data set. This data set can be located in the sample data folder, which is in the Sigma Excel installation directory. Now, once you have customer data open, make sure the Sigma Excel tab is selected, then click on Graphical Tools, and then click Easy Pivot Charts. Make sure Use Entire Data Table is selected, and click Next. Now for count category X1, select major complaint. For group category X2, select customer type. And for group category X3, select size of customer. Make sure create pivot charts is selected and click OK. Now you'll see the resulting pivot table of major complaint by customer type is shown. Now this pivot table shows counts for each major complaint, broken out by customer type and size of customer. Now, to display um, specific counts uh, for customer size, you can click on this arrow here that's adjacent to size of customer, and you can select the uh, pivot chart to display either large or small customers. Now, for this example, we'll click on large, and you can click OK. Now, you'll notice that the pivot table is edited and that the major complaint not available is no longer shown. The reason for this is that the pivot table only shows rows where there is a count of at least one. Now you can also view the Easy Pivot Chart by clicking the Easy Pivot Chart tab in your workbook. Now at this point what you can do is you can split the pivot chart to show both large and small customers. To do this, if you're using Excel 2007 or 2010, drag size of customer under the Report Filter heading, drag it down to the Axis Fields heading. And you'll see that the pivot chart now shows both large and small customers.